Hello again, YouTube. Homestead Fabricator here. I got some big news for you. I'll be doing a lot more videos with the Earthquake Electric Splitter. Really testing out, see what it can do. If I get firewood rounds, eventually I'll be getting a gas splitter. Why am I getting a gas splitter when what I have now is just, you know, could be handled with a maul and... The sawmill slabs, I just cut them up. Maybe, you know, some of the big thick ones that might hit once with the splitter. The electric splitter. Why would I get a gas on? Because I am now entering the firewood business. That's right. Uh, it's a lot of hard work, a lot of good exercise, mainly for the exercise. And i uh, been watching a lot of videos of uh, people that I learned a lot from. Uh, how to build the firewood racks so i gotta give special thanks to back 40 firewood uh he built he has what i think is amazing roadside stand and that's what i'll be specializing in is just roadside stand and eventually bigger firewood orders you know they would be pre-orders unless you know they want to pay extra for like an emergency order um I'll be just doing a uh, camping firewood for now because that's all I have time for. Or recreational wood, you know, the uh, for outdoor fire rings such as this. This is a squared ring. I used to call it a fire pit, but uh, some people's like, eh, what? Is, I, can't, I can't get my head around that uh, being square as a ring. You know, ring is circular, so I call it a squared ring. Just like, you know, wrestling calls it, you know, the uh, squared circle. You know, professional wrestling, which is, you know, all theatrical. Anywho, so I'll be busy working on larger scale firewood racks. I'll be doing a lot of bundles. Uh, well, this one bundle isn't going to hold me forever. So I'll be, hopefully be able to get a lot of tree service wood. Uh, so I'll be uh, possibly upgrading to a gasoline chainsaw. I'll, I'll be running the battery saw as much as possible, especially for that slab wood. Uh, I got to work on ideas for a slab wood processing table. Uh, Wolf Ridge Manufacturing has a table for logs, which is really nice. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm highly considering a Wolf Ridge log splitters because they're made in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. I uh, got to give thanks to Back 40 Firewood for that one, you know, for doing his videos on that. And especially when he did the uh, mother of all log splitters, you know, 40-some ton. Oh, my gosh, I saw the preview of that first video of that thing in action. My gosh, that thing's a monster. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that, that's a really good commercial-grade one that they got there, uh, Wolf Ridge does. I'm also considering a rugged, rugged made, their rugged split model. Um... Uh, Another person that I've been learning a lot from on firewood, kind of like the ins and outs, idiosyncrasies of the firewood business is Joe, the Joe from Joe's Premium Firewood. He has two channels, Joe's Firewood Videos and Joe's Firewood Videos 2. And another big influence in getting going and stuff is a good friend of mine, first met him on YouTube. His name is Mike Dillon over at Dillon's Woodworks. And he's been one of my biggest uh, tree leaders and helping me uh, work things out, trying to get over the hump. I'm starting to feel a little excited about doing the firewood business. So, yeah, I'm a little excited, you know, a little scared at the same time because, you know, it's not the normal thing people do. Uh, but... I'll be getting into fire business, getting uh, building up inventory now before the snow flies, so I'm ready for next camping season. Camping season is usually, you know, mid-May through Labor Day, primarily starting Memorial Day weekend. So you have, uh, let's see, June, July, August. Well, you have three full months, and uh, then you can hit, depending on how soon people go camping, you have four or five months of really good firewood sales and then 
Now I'll be doing more uh, face cord to half cord loads. And once I get a truck or a hitch on the van for it, I'll pull my trailer do like a face cord deliveries. I'm not going to get into the big deliveries since you need a big truck to do that. But I'll be mostly doing a recreational wood, the roadside stand. And you know, half cord deliver, face cord to half cord deliveries once I get a gas splitter and uh, a good supply of logs. Otherwise, I'm going to be doing just uh, sawmill slabs for now. And I'll have to see about what I can do about getting a load of logs from a tree service or otherwise. So tree service logs, I'm going to need a monster splitter. So I don't know what I'm going to do there. But I'll get something. So until next time, folks, take care and get out there and build something.